How's everybody doing? Uh, Alfred Flores, CEO, President of New Age Electric. It has been a while. Um, a lot of transitioning happened um, personally and business-wise, uh, but we are still waiting on lighting controls uh, from CED, and I'm trying to get the um, uh, Crestron and Lutron available and do some demonstrations to get that hooked up and ready to go. Um, in the meantime, I found some interesting things that you can add to your database and uh, those things are actual tools um, and this can be drills carts ladders safety equipment such as uh, eyewear gloves vests uh, and all the way down to uh, benders uh, electric benders hydraulic benders uh, the accessories you, you can get the shoes uh, all this stuff and, and I didn't I didn't know this was on here and here is uh, trade services live uh, my previous tutorials if you look up uh, I utilize trade services alive it's it's uh, it's linked straight to whoever uh, supply house you have in your database or, or your company is approved in it will get linked to your account uh, for me, I have uh, Steiner and uh, CED. So I'm going to jump into this and I'm going to show you um, what I have and how you can do it. Okay, so this is my personal database and I'm going to be showing you guys uh, these sections I got down here, which is my Milwaukee battery power tools. Uh, tools, carts, and game boxes, ladders, safety, and benders. Now, in my power tools, and and this is still a, a work in progress, but I try to get some of the nest, uh, you know, some of the necess necessity tools, power tools I'll need. Um, I got tool kits, catalog numbers, and price codes associated with that. Milwaukee tools only. Um, two accessories, uh, some hand tools, some battery lights. Um, like I said, I'm still working on this. And every single item on here, if your supply house, which mostly almost any of the big time supply houses, they're going to sell this stuff. Um, you, you can, I, I believe, contact Milwaukee directly and buy stuff too. Um, but... If you had a big job and you just didn't want to throw in, you know, what when, when I see in, in the future of working in this industry, I mean, in the past, I'm sorry, if people just throw lump sum numbers, you know, throw ten thousand dollars for tools and throw, you know, five thousand dollars for this and fifteen for that, um, you can get more precise and, and not only precise is less worrisome if you actually get the job because you know you got real life tools in here. And, and prices and everything. And then not only that, if you're going to be buying all this stuff, you can probably get some good discounts off that if you're going to be buying like 20 grand worth of tools. And they'll probably throw in a bunch of free batteries too. So there's there's, there's a, some advantages to this. So if you know um, the catalog number or the type of tool that you want, um, easiest thing to do, you can go to um, that person's uh, website you can download the catalog um, you can find the exact part numbers and copy and paste it and then throw it right back into trade services so let's say I don't have this open right now but I know that uh, this is the exact part number right and I got the PDF and you know all I'm gonna do is just highlight it on the PDF and I'm gonna hit control C to copy it then we're gonna jump over to trade services and we're gonna paste this right in here and then uh, here we go. This is the exact model number, uh, your price code, the brand, manufacturer, and the description. You can uh, come right in here, open it up, take a look. Um, cordless high torque for uh, four mode gives you brief descriptions. Uh, M18 brand. 
if you want to know what exactly what it costs and what your supply house is selling it for uh, for instance CD is selling this kit for 790 so the kit should come with the battery the charger the case and the tool pretty nice um, there's your UPC number and yeah this is a uh, pretty sweet so you could do this for anything uh, let's say we want to do uh, tools and carts um, I just took some stuff out so let me delete these blanks really quick so here's like a green Lee storage box uh, 30 by 30 by 40 storage box uh, let's pretend I didn't have the price code and but I knew the exact name I can copy this uh, I'm sorry go back in here really quick um, tool carts and game boxes I jumped ahead um, let's say I didn't know I have the manufacturer's number I didn't have the part number or the UPC but I do know the manufacturers uh, what they're actually calling it so I can copy and paste that come back in here uh, go back to tracer search paste this in here and here we go um, in this case there are multiple boxes 48 by 30 by 48 30 by 30 by 48 and you know a bunch of different si sizes you have here um, you want to take a look at the pricing you know you can come in here and see what it is and they're selling this for and for you know 12 1226 90 so that's that's pretty nice um, let's go back and just really quick um, also ladders um, a lot of people use Warner uh, fiberglass twin step ladders um, like I said if you didn't know and here's that actual uh, model number of it and let's just say I didn't know anything else and I want to go for uh all the warner uh t6 ladders and i could just even just copy this and this should work uh so like let me highlight that jump in here and we were gonna hit search and paste it and it didn't work up oh, there you go and that will take me to a all their ladders that start with um, T6 and T, uh, T7s or some PTs. Um, I, I believe that's a step ladder. Yeah, no, no, no. Um, yeah, it's it's with the, the platform on the top, and I think that's what the P stands for is platform. Yeah, twin platform step ladder. I could, couldn't remember. Once you start looking at these part numbers... Uh, one manufacturer they start becoming more common the, the you know the descriptions you can actually figure them out what they're trying to say but yeah you can come in here you can take a look at any of these and bring it right over um, if, if you don't remember a previous tutorial I can do it really quick on how to just copy the exact contents uh, over to Acubit very simple um, you can click here come up to here you're gonna see this changes to a one uh, uh, pretty much this means that you're ready to to export it over here. So what this is there's a send to link um, Option over here you click that um, You can export this to like a list BOM uh, an RFQ export it to an Excel file QuickBooks uh, what, what you do here is you hit this link export and it's a extension file. It's a TS link uh, exp. You just click it once and then you'll get like this notification trade service online link export was copied to the clipboard. You just come back over here and you want to you're going to paste it right in here. So you hit edit paste and it pops right in there. So it takes everything with it. All the information, the UPC number, um, the material price up to date. Um, you're going to extend this anyway when you do your job. So it'll grab, if this changes, it'll grab the new uh, price. Um, it'll grab all the manufacturer info too. So if you swing this over, it'll give you manufacturer name and the exact catalog number. Pretty cool. Um, delete it. Just click it. Hit it. Delete. And walk away. Um, safety. There is a lot of different safety items and trade services you can find. Um... You know, people most likely just 
find a supply house online, call them, order them with custom logos and whatnot. But if you just wanted to throw some money in there and Peter put a few hard hats and whatnot, you can do that as well. Everything is linked. Uh, there's some vast hard hats, safety glasses. Like I was saying, it's just um, your most basic stuff uh, for a guy in a job that you know you need to supply. Um, I'm working on this one right now with benders. Um, I'm putting in some hydraulic benders, uh, electric benders, um, manual benders, some ideal man manual benders. Uh, some of the accessories, the vise, the table, the shoes that go with it. Um, you can tell the stuff is, uh, if you're watching this video, you know that this is all crazy expensive stuff. And it takes a lot of money to start it up. And, you know, you land that one big job and... You got all these tools buried in there. I mean, you're good to go. You got yourself a nice little inventory list, uh, inventory of tools now. <clears throat> and, you know, your business can take off. And unlike me, I don't have a lot of tools and I barely got 10% of the stuff that you probably, I've shown you. So, um, but yeah, I'm trying to make sure that when I do start landing some decent work, um, my stuff is pretty much buried in my bid for I can buy it for also use it for future use so you know not going to be too competitive in the beginning because I'm going to have a lot of this stuff buried in there not not everything of course because I'm not tackling million dollar jobs when it first start but uh you get the point um so yeah this is uh pretty nice and uh if uh let, let's say you know well, well that's twenty eight thousand dollars just to, you know how do I know this is real okay well same thing. I'm, I'm not trying to say I'm a liar or anything, but I will show you really quick. And we'll just copy this in here. Uh, and that didn't go through. Okay, hold on. Oh, that's because I changed the name. Hold on. Let me copy this one more time. Sorry. I put change the description for my purpose. Uh, so, yeah. So, two and a half inch, four inch bender. Ooh, I believe this one is... the. Yeah, the twenty-eight thousand. Let's see. Yeah, twenty-eight thousand. So this is the whole the kit. I believe this is without the table though, and I got the table separate. Uh, yeah. Any questions, comments? Um, trade services really good to know. Um, use it wisely. You don't have to be hounding people at the. You know, I, I grew up the same way in this industry. I had to call somebody to get quotes, and the stuff's got a lot easier where most of the stuff you can um, look up online. And, and um, also, uh, what I've been working with is um, cable trays and wall ducts. All this stuff is in here. Um, for instance, let me, uh, let me go back in here. I got... Uh, ducks and trays and I already have this set up right here wire basket tray Legrand um, I have this all set up um, two inch four inch and six inch deep right click in here these are already all set up um, two by twos all the way to 24 uh, 24 inch I got them um, in zinc black uh, stainless steel 316 and stainless steel through uh, 304 uh, there's some labor in here um, I'm probably gonna fiddle with but it's um uh, it's pretty stuff standard but it's it's the price codes that matter and whatnot uh, but yeah if you ever want to look at this this is uh, Legrand I can copy this um, I, I I don't do um, uh, cable trays and stuff like that so I don't mind if you see my labor it's not a big deal um, I'm, I'm, that's probably going to change anyway because I haven't really got into the labor portion yet uh, we could go in here and sorry we can go in here and I can click in the uh, price code and pop this up and we can look at specifications so it's the wire mesh and keep in mind that these um what they're sold into uh two inch by two inch and uh, when i say keep in mind what they're sold in is because if you hit distributor pricing 
this says forty one dollars and forty four cents. Now, what it's telling you that these are sold in ten foot pieces. So it's not forty one or forty forty one dollars and forty one cents per foot. It's forty one point forty four per uh, uh, per per stick or well, not per stick, but per ten foot length and. The reason why that's important is because if you're going to take this off in Acubit um, and, and Classic or, or Enterprise or whatever you're going to be doing, you're going to have to make sure you specify the length and uh, when the length is correct, it's actually multiplying it um, one for like every 10. So you're doing, uh, you know, you got 50 feet that's, you know, close to 200 bucks and you're not doing like, you know, fifty thousand dollars because you're trying to price it per foot so you have to be tricky when you set that up in in uh your assemblies when you take off stuff or even when you just take it off in your item database uh so yeah that's that's it for today um i am going to start getting some lighting controls and i'm very interested in crestron before because i've always Estimated Crestron. I never got to put the stuff together. Lutron on the hand ran. I played with the Lutron QSN nodes, the Pico switches, wireless power packs. I played with all that stuff. But the Crestron, I haven't. And I'm I'm, I'm eager to get my hands on that one because I want to put this stuff together and, and see how it works and pretty much see how long it takes me like a newbie because I'm not, a, I'm not a, a guy in the field uh, doing this uh, every day. So, yeah. Uh, Alpha Floor CEO, President of New Age Electric. See you again.